What's going on guys? Welcome to the new video. Uh, the last video I posted was mostly just driving because I was feeling a little off last week. Uh, just feeling all that great due to allergies and such. Still feeling pretty, pretty bad, but you know, you got to make that money. So I kept running, but this week we are on our way up from hometown uh, picked up at Paper Republic, or Republic Paperboard, sorry. Just a bunch of paper rolls. And we're hauling it all the way up to Fort Dodge. Made it all the, Wells, all the way to Wellsville last night. Uh, me and my dad ran up here together. He offloads in Kansas City, which I already just drove through. And I offloaded over in, uh, or I will be offloading over in Fort Dodge, which I'm still four hours away from. But just wanted to thank you guys for watching every, uh, my videos those of you who do watch if you do watch them and you do enjoy them please share them please like them please subscribe if you don't like them tell me why simple as that um, if you don't want to tell me you don't want to tell me it is what it is I just enjoy posting these and I want you guys to enjoy what I'm posting um, and I'm always up for a challenge. I also have been posting TikToks recently, uh, same name on TikTok, and just pick uh, videos of the view with some motivational stuff attached because I need motivation quite a bit sometimes. I'm a self-motivating person, but that's due to like my duty, but I, I also use that outside help quite a bit. and. I thought you guys might enjoy those. So, you just let me know on that, what y'all think, uh, and we'll see y'all out there. Love, peace, and chitlin' grease. See y'all later. All right, since the last clip, we have dropped our trailer over there at Georgia Pacific in Fort Dodge, got reloaded, and got back on the road uh, after a couple hours, of course. It's now six o'clock. We got there at one o'clock, uh, 12, actually. We got there at 12, and now it's six. So it's been a few hours. It took us about an hour to drop the trailer because we had to take our straps off and our bungees off. Then we waited another hour to get our dispatch and so we waited another hour to get our two-hour reset and we're just running after having picked up that trailer which took us about an hour and a half to get even though it was right down the road we had to strap it down fix the bungees fix the tarps all of that to make sure we're completely legal rolling down the road now we're just heading straight into the sunset for the next three hours and 14 minutes uh, to Columbus, Nebraska for a Menards offload that I will be doing in the morning. So, see y'all soon. So, we are actually getting offloaded right now over here in Columbus, Nebraska. Um, took us a while to get our tarps off because I went to sleep and it was 38 degrees outside. Woke up and it was 19 degrees outside with a wind chill that made it 10 degrees outside. So, all my tarps were a little bit frozen. That was fun. Getting it all off. Then I got the plastic off. There's a little bit of dew underneath the plastic from when they loaded it that immediately turned into slush. So that was fun. And then we pulled back here into the back of this Menards and we're getting offloaded. But you know, they got to take care of customers and all that. After this, however, we're on our way over to Norfolk, Nebraska to pick up slinkies. And these are coils of metal that they use to make, I believe, rebar or maybe even um, 
Well, I think it's rebar, actually, what they use it for. So, but we're gonna be on our way over there to get that. It's only an hour away. And then we're gonna take that over to Maryville, Missouri. And we'll hopefully get that offloaded today. Uh, we may not, it's possible we could, but I'm not all that hopeful about that because you gotta factor in traffic, you gotta factor in weather, and you gotta factor in strapping down the load and getting all the paperwork ready. So we'll see what happens because loading times and unloading times as well. Like I'm only a quarter of the way unloaded and I've been back here for 25 minutes. It is what it is. And we're just gonna keep it running. Anyway, uh, we'll see y'all on the, on the flip side. We'll see y'all on the flip side. What's going on, y'all? We are over here in Missouri. We already offloaded. Um, we offloaded yesterday, so thankfully they were receiving until 8 p.m. So I went ahead and I got my, my uh, delivery offloaded. I parked there for my 10 hour break. And then I called my dispatcher this morning and he's telling me to head, head to a truck stop at St. Joe's and just wait. So that's what we're doing. We're heading on over there. Uh, it's It was only 45 minutes away straight down the highway that I'm right off of cool whatever I'm easy let's get it on so hope you enjoy the view it's a nice beautiful morning Van Alston, Texas. Sorry, I had the hiccups for a second. We're on our way to Van Alston, Texas, where we will be offloading a Kubota load. It's been a little bit of time since my last clip. I, I was trying to figure out what they wanted me to do. And things got crazy, things got messed up and on my end. And I was like, okay, I need to figure this out because I'm, I don't like sitting around. I like I like running. I like running my truck, making those miles, getting paid. So, we're on our way from Edgerton, Kansas, where we got loaded. I chained and strapped all of this load at the Kubota Manufacturing. We're hauling it the first drop to Van Alston in Texas which is just north of Dallas, just south of Sherman, right in between. Next stop is gonna be What is uh uh uh, 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 uh Van Alston Waxahachie, that's how it's pronounced. Waxahachie, Texas. Then from there we go to Corsicana, Texas, and then from there we go to Athens, Texas. And that's our last drop. This is a four-stop drop, and I get stop pay for each single each each stop. So that's good. It's gonna make up for the fact I'm not making that many miles this week. Because yeah, I started off the week running up to Fort Dodge, Iowa, and I offloaded. But that doesn't go for this week's miles because it's Tuesday through, through Monday pay. So what I delivered on Monday, I'm getting paid next Monday. But what I deliver, but what I pick, everything else is on its own until Monday again. So I'm hoping to kind of make up for it as much as I can. But it's been a struggle to get loads with this sudden cold spell that's walked through. 
because it's made the roads a little icier, it's made people work a little slower, it's made a bunch of manufacturers and shippers and receivers a little nervous, so we're trying to combat that as well. And it's, it's kind of a pain sometimes, but it is what it is. It's trucking, there's, there's ups and there's downs. When I was rock hauling over the winter, people still needed rock. It's just the type of rock changed when I first started trucking. Now, in flatbedding, like, like I picked up a, that load in, in, of Shebra, and I went and delivered it. My tarps were frozen after one night, and they weren't frozen before. So, like, it gets cold. It's been getting down to 19, 20 degrees every night this week. Uh, except for the first night on Sunday night. On Sunday night, it only got down to 38, which honestly isn't that bad. But you see, I'm from Oklahoma, southern Oklahoma, close to Texas, where it normally the coldest it gets is maybe 15 degrees in the dead of winter. Mid beginning and end of winter, up to the dead of winter and from the dead of winter it only gets down to like freezing 32 max so yeah it's been a little cuckoo dealing with this i had to buy some winter gear uh got some insulated gloves got a balaclava a ski mask uh since i found out some people don't know what a balaclava is. Uh, that Menards I delivered to, I actually, I actually went in and asked, do you, do you guys sell balaclavas? And they went, what's that? What's a balaclava? And I said, it's a ski mask. And they went, oh. Then they look it up, ski mask, and nothing pops up. And then they type in balaclava and it pops up. I'm like, so you've got items in your store that you don't even know what they're really called or what they're, what the name of them are. But it is what it is. Most people just call them ski masks. I grew up calling them balaclavas. Uh, but yeah, we're on our way over there. Uh, it is currently 5.39 in the afternoon. We still have five hours and four minutes to go. Perfectly fine because I have all the time. I'm going to park with one hour to spare. Even with me just having to take a 30 mile detour because the highway is closed in a certain area. It is what it is. So. But yeah, we are, we're making our way and we'll see y'all on the flip side. Kubota stuff and then we went over to terrible terrible Texas and we got reloaded guess what we're reloaded with not wood not sheetrock not metal we're loaded with styrofoam yeah that's right styrofoam about 8,000 pounds worth of styrofoam and let me tell you what this stuff is a pain in the booty to strap down because you got an edge protector the living daylights out of it you got to strap it down just right so that it's snug but it's not crushing it and and then you got to go through the middle of Dallas yeah this is this has been kind of nuts 
because you've got no choice but to go through the middle of Dallas no matter where you're going if you're going north. Hell, if you're going east, you still got to go through the middle of Dallas. It's kind of nuts. But this is my home load. It delivers in Kansas City on Monday morning. So I will be taking this all the way back home, do my 34 hour reset, and then get back on the road on Sunday, probably Sunday morning, and get on back over to Wellsville for the night, and then deliver this Monday morning in Kansas City because it's only 30 minutes from the Wellsville yard up there in Kansas so that means this is the last clip of this video and I'm gonna have to tell you that if you like the video you should like the video if you didn't like the video don't like the video but tell me why if you did if you want to give me some constructive criticism you want to tell me what you would like to see more of, less of, whatever. Just let me know. Um, and with that, love, peace, and chitlin' grace. We'll see y'all next week.